Welcome back to my channel. I am I can let's see what the spirit have to say to us today about love. What does spirit have to say to us about? What do you want to say to us about love today, Spirit? What do you want to say to us about love today? These two cards fail. Searching online looking for info and records someone is searching online they're blinded about what's actually going on so they're online searching and looking for info or looking for re records and the other card is poison toxic unhealthy behaviors people poison toxic and unhealthy behaviors and people somebody is around is around toxic people right now with some unhealthy behaviors and um you need to stay away from negative stuff positive brings about positive try to get around positive stuff right now get away from all the negative all the toxicity and unhealthy behaviors it's like poison to the body. It's not good for you. It's not good at all. Interlude. Pause. Timing. It's a timing factor. It's like the interlude to a kiss. Pause right now. All this poisonous stuff that's going on, stuff that you don't know about, that you're searching online on the internet or somebody's searching online on the internet trying to find something out. But all of the the poisonous people that you're around, the negative stuff that you're around is unhealthy. It's time for an interlude, something positive to go on that. You need to pause, uh, take a little break, bring something positive in there. What do you have to tell us today about love, divine spirit? Whatever falls to the table, what do you have to tell us today about love? Whatever falls to the table. Cleansing. Meditation. Clearing space. Removing negativity. Remove that negative stuff from out of your life. Remove it. It is not good. It is not good. It makes you unhealthy when you have a lot of poison a lot of um toxic stuff in your life and that could even just be people talking negative being negative all the time cleanse meditate clear your space remove the negative stuff one more time is there anything else that you need to tell us today divine spirit about love anything else one more shuffle anything that falls to the table here you go Verge, about to reveal and confess. Somebody is on the verge of revealing something to you or confessing something because remember, you're searching online. You're searching the internet. Uh, you're looking for info and records. So you're on the verge of finding something out and somebody is on the verge of confessing something to you and, and something is going to be revealed to you. Something is going to be revealed. Then you need to cleanse. You need to meditate. Let's go with this one. This is for you. This is about you. About the collective. This is about you. Whatever falls to the table. What do we need? What does this person need to know about themselves? What do they need to work on? That's a lot of cards. One more shuffle. What does this person need to work on? 
What do they need to work on the body spirit? In the order that they fell, this one fell first. This is forgive self, accept what has happened and give yourself grace to make mistakes. Accept what has happened and give yourself grace to make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. So accept what happened. Even when you search on the internet or online and you find something, accept what happened and give yourself grace to make a mistake. Don't dwell on it. Self-absorbed. Seek to feel what others are feeling. Express empathy to others to overcome this. Like I said, nobody is perfect. Don't be self-absorbed in yourself. Don't be self-absorbed. Seek to feel what others are feeling and express empathy to others to overcome being self-absorbed. Emotional, emotionally overreacting. You are overthinking, which is causing a flood of unnecessary emotions. You're just being too much. You're overreacting. Don't be that drama person. You're overreacting. Bring it down just a tone. Bring it down narrow-minded you have a limited outlook on perspective and thoughts what makes you think your thoughts are solid gold bam you are no better than anyone else you have a limited outlook on perspective and thoughts what makes you think your thoughts are solid gold go to this deck what does the collective need to know, Divine Spirit? What does the collective need to know? What do they need to know for right now? What does the collective need to know for right now? Whatever falls to the table. Whatever falls to the table, divine spirit. What does the collective need to know for right now? One more shuffle. What does the collective need to know for right now, divine spirit? Last shuffle. Whatever falls to the table. Nothing. Nothing from this deck. Does the collective need to know anything for right now about themselves or who or their love? divine counterpart a divine connection sent to you from your angels divine counterpart a divine connection sent to you from your angels somebody received something or is going to receive something and is sent to you from your angels a divine counterpart Remember that. It's being sent to you from your angels. But you also need to remember that you need to forgive yourself and accept what has happened and give yourself grace to make mistakes because you're not perfect. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is. So you you got to forgive yourself first. You need to stop being self-absorbed. You need to give empathy to others. And you need to stop being emotionally overreacting. Stop with the drama. I don't know of anybody yet that just wants to be a, around drama all the time. If people want drama, they'll look at those TV shows where, um, hey, I slept with your boyfriend, or I had a baby by your, with your 
with your best friend or something, you know? They'll watch those shows on TV, but nobody really wants that in their lives. You got to step back from that and stop being narrow-minded. What makes you think that your thoughts are solid gold? If the, the divine is sending you something, if the angels are sending you a divine counterpart, they're already telling you what shadow work you need to do, what you need to do to get yourself together, to hang on to that to that person, to that divine counterpart, work on yourself so you can stop feeling like you're lonely. You can stop feeling like nobody wants you, nobody wants to stay with you. Woe is me. Get rid of the woe is me because if you're working on this shadow work, things will work out. You need to cleanse yourself. You need to meditate. And remember, you're on the verge of something because somebody or something is going to be revealed and they are going to confess to something. You know what? I see that some, I'm reminded about somebody searching online looking for something. Just recently, I was told, and when I say recently, it's really been recently, I was told when you go searching for something, when you go looking for something, you just might find it or you might find something that you didn't want to hear, that you didn't want to see. So unless somebody gives you a real reason to go look, stay off of it. Because those, those negative people, those negative Nancys, those people that just keeps throwing all that poisonous stuff out there in your head that got you thinking. Now you're searching online and you're looking up stuff. What's this other person doing? Where are they going? Who are they looking at online? Who are, Whose pictures are they liking on Facebook or social media? Whatever it may be. Now they got you thinking. So now you're going to go searching. You're going to go looking for something. Your angels are sending you a divine counterpart. Work on your shadow work. Stop searching. Stop looking. Unless that divine counterpart is giving you a real reason to go look. Okay? Cleanse yourself. Meditate. Put your mind on, on good, positive things. If you want something to work, if you're tired of being alone, or you're tired of relationships just not working out, think about what you are doing. And I'm not saying that it's just you doing all of this stuff. That's not what I'm saying. But you can only control yourself. So if you have the opportunity to work on yourself, work on yourself. Do the shadow work for yourself so that um, things can start really just going in your favor. But work on yourself because you can't change anybody else. And if you're trying to change somebody else, then you can't change anybody else. You can change yourself, though. Abundance is what fell. An inflow of money, love, or rewards. You're gonna that's coming to you. It's coming in abundance. Leap of faith. Taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. Take a leap of faith. Is there anything else that you want the collective to know? Divine Spirit. One last shuffle. Whatever lands on the table. One last shuffle. Realignment. Realignment. Shift your perspective for a gained sense of clarity. Realignment. Realignment goes with the meditation and cleansing. Getting rid of those toxic, unhealthy situations and people. Realign your thoughts. Even realign your body to get a little bit more healthy. Realign that too. Realign your thoughts and the way that you do things to make it all work out for the better. For love and self, divine spirit. For love and self. What do we need to know for love or self, divine spirit? What's
what's going on with the collective. What do we need to know about the collective? What do we need to know about the collective? The divine spirit. Whatever falls to the table. I had this dream last night. I don't even, this card fell. I don't even know if it was a dream last night, but I was asleep last night in the wee hours of the morning. I woke up crying. And I was just bawling, just bawling. And I said, I'm tired of being the one in the relationship that's showing somebody else how they should be loved. Like, when I love, I don't love hard. I love true. There's a difference in loving true and loving hard. I love true. Because if I love you, I love you. I'm not going to love you looking for something in return. I'm loving you because I chose to love you. Not because somebody is making me love you, but because I chose to love you. And when I cried and said, I'm tired of being the one to show how to love because I love true. I give it my all. I don't go in a relationship knowing that it's a relationship that I won't give him 50 because I'm not going to give 50. I'm going to give 100. I'm going to give you my 100. And if it appears to me, if it seems to me, me hanging in there, me standing there, if, if it's not reciprocated and my spirit tells me this is not for you, then it's time for me to go. I get closure. I always have to get closure. And it's time for me to go. Um, I'm not broken and I'm, uh, and I'm not hurt. Uh, and I'm not bitter. Because I have learned for each relationship that I'm in. And if the relationship ends, then I take all the good from that relationship all the good things that I learned from that relationship and I apply it to the next relationship that I'm in. Or I ask my angels, hey, I love what that person showed me in that relationship or what I got from that relationship. I want that in my next relationship. And I just keep it moving. The eight of wands showed up. The eight of wands showed up. She has a thought, and I say she because it's just a female on the card, but this person has a thought and they're conjuring up something. And when I say conjuring up, I'm not talking about no black magic. I'm not talking about anything evil. I'm just saying this person is trying to make their dreams into a reality. They are throwing it out there in the atmosphere. They have a thought of what they want. See the little pot right there? They have a thought of what they want. They have thrown in the ingredients, their thoughts of what they want, mixed it up, and they're throwing it out in the atmosphere because the things that we think, become, the things that we speak become our reality the things that we speak become our reality she has or that person has thrown in their their thoughts and I, their ideas of what it is that they want or how they want something to go and they're throwing it out into the atmosphere they are pushing it out into the atmosphere every time that you have this negative stuff going on, unhealthy stuff going on. You're actually throwing it out there in the atmosphere. It You really need to clean that up. You really need to clean it up. Do the shadow work because it's, remember it said divine counterpart, a divine connection sent to you from your angels. It's being sent to you. Abundance, but you got to take a leap of faith. You have to step into the beauty of the unknown you need to get yourself in alignment, shift your perspective for a gained sense of clarity because it's coming. And what you are speaking, you're throwing it out there in the atmosphere. And if you want 
the positive stuff out of life, you got to get yourself around like-minded people, positive people. I, I, oh. At work, whenever somebody new starts work and they're giving to me and I talk to them, I always tell those new people, listen, you're always going to have negative people. You can handle that in one or two ways. You can sit and you can listen to all the negative stuff and then you be miserable. Or you could stop them and say, hey, I appreciate you trying to tell me that. But that's the part that I don't, I, I don't want to hear the negative. I just need to know what I need to know about my job. Okay. And just get the positive stuff. You can always stop. Stop people from talking negative about you. It... <laughs> I like to tell people sometimes, especially um, when they're being negative and they've asked me, hey, why you walked off? And I'll tell them, listen, I could be looking you dead in your face and not hear a thing that you said. Because if you're talking negative, I'm not listening to it. Uh, I'm either going to walk away or I'm just going to look at you like you're stupid. I don't need all the negative in my life. News, you look at the news and too often you see all the negative stuff. What about all the positive stuff that's going on in the world? I need positive stuff going on in my life. Tell me what the collective needs to know for right now, Divine Spirit. What do they need to know for right now? What does the collective need to know for right now, Divine Spirit? Whatever hits the table. What do they need to know for right now? I am new to the YouTube channel. I hope you press the like button and I hope you press the subscribe button. And I hope you come back and you see me again. What do they need to know for right now? I said whatever hits the table. So... I'm going to look at all those cards because I said whatever is the table. Evidently, somebody needs to know something. So we're going to look at all these cards. And they all fell in the order. Wise counselor was the first one that fell. Unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Ask for help. Ask the divine for help and trust that it will come. So much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. Peace and contentment in your personal life. Thank the divine for peace and contentment in your personal life. Get rid of all of that negativity. The world, a brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. This was um, upside down. So you still need to do that shadow work. This card was upside down. Do your shadow work. Work on yourself. Make the changes to yourself. Make those changes. Victory. Victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, or scholarships. See her standing there? With her flag, the sun is shining, brighter days ahead. You see the ones coming after her. No matter what comes your way, you can choose to still have the victory. You can choose to do that. Wise choices, that public recognition and success, promotions, awards, and scholarships. This is saying somebody either on your job, or it does say wise choices that bring public recognition on your job, a promotion, some kind of success is coming. Just keep your head up. All the negative stuff that keeps going around, all the stuff that you keep hearing, keep your head up. Keep your head up. Victory is coming. 
promotions, awards, scholarships, if you're trying to go back to school. And here we go again. Planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. Hang in there. Be patient. It's coming. But you got to take that leap of faith. Make sure you realign yourself. The abundance is coming. And remember, everything that you throw into that pot of life is being thrown out there in the atmosphere. Motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision. Don't be sensitive to criticism. Don't be sensitive to it because sometimes when criticism comes, criticism helps us to grow. Criticism helps us to get a little bit better. Criticism is not always poisonous. Even though criticism seems like it's negative, it can also help us to grow. But you need to communicate your vision. Take that leap of faith. Take the leadership role. Somebody is being offered a leadership role. Somebody is being offered a promotion. Somebody has a vision. You got to keep taking those steps towards that vision. Somebody is. Don't be sensitive to criticism because this is going to help you take that next step. This is going to help you to grow and step into your next appointed position. This one says personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that you're stronger than you knew. You are stronger than you knew. You were searching online, blinded by something that's going on. Remember that interlude is coming and you're on the verge uh of having something being revealed to you. Somebody is going to confess something to you. But you are stronger than you think. No matter what's being thrown out at you, you are stronger than you think. You have strength. The moon. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that make revelations that will make everything clear. Something is coming. Something is going to be revealed to you. Somebody is going to confess to you. Everything is going to be made clear. Everything is going to be made clear. All of those people that are putting those negative thoughts into your mind, and I'm not talking about the, the business criticism because sometimes that stuff is, like I said, to help you grow, to get better in your business. But um, all of this poisonous stuff that's just being pushed into you because you're you're listening to it, you're on the phone listening to it, you're receiving text messages listening to it. People are requesting to come over to your house, your apartment, just to visit with you, to tell you all of this negative stuff and you don't need it. You have to put a stop to that stuff. And if they're truly your friend, when you say, hey, I, not today, I, I can't do this no more. Let's try to be positive. If they're truly your friend, they'll do that. I'm not saying they're not your friend if they don't. But I'm just saying you might need to rethink some things. If all people ever have to say to you is negative stuff, you might need to rethink some things. Because sad uh, people try or hurt people hurt people. That's what this one dude told me. Hurt people hurt people. And when they're hurting, they try to hurt you. So um, it, it's, it is okay to listen. It's okay to try to help people through their problems, but don't let their problems be your problem to where you're brought down right with, right with them, okay? Um, let's go with this one. And this is the last one. What does the collective need to know for right now? Is. What does the collective need to know for right now? 
Okay, I agree. Okay, it's on the table. What does the collector need to know? Nope. I said whatever lands on the table, so I got I gotta use these. I gotta use them all. So we're gonna use them in order. This says pure intention. The theory of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. Pure intention. Solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. Solitude. Realign yourself. Work on your shadow work. Forgive yourself. Stop being self-absorbed. Stop emotionally overreacting and stop being narrow-minded. Go into solitude for a while. Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine, a little bit. But remember, you're trying to realign yourself. A little bit is okay. Motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say, get busy and do it. Now is the time. Now is the time to take that leap, that leap of faith. Now is the time because that promotion is coming. It's coming. Now is the time to take that leap of faith. Magical getaway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. That leap of faith. And this is the last one. Protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and life. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. So if it's somebody out there that's Thinking about doing spiritual work. You need to practice psychic protection before embarking on it. To make sure you're calling upon the right spirits. The divine spirit. The right spirit steps forward to help you. The right spirit steps forward to talk to you and help you do things. Remember that you do have the strength. You can make it. You got this. You can do this, brother or sister. You got this. I hope that you take whatever good is here and apply it to your life if it resonates with you and whatever is not good. If it appeared to be negative to you, let it go. Brush it off. Let it go. I don't want nothing negative to fall onto your ears and to possibly hurt your heart or to hurt your mind. Um, I'm not here to bring you down. I'm here to for us to journey together. But I will say if you have shadow work, work on your shadow work so you can be the best you that you are. The best you that you have to offer. The best you that you can ever be. Because I don't want that poison to eat you up. I need you to live. I need you to make it. Take care.